Holy shit! Welcome, I'm gonna give you guys a little story on this ginormous bald cypress with this tremendous nabari and beautiful trunk and has a great taper. It's got a lot going on upstairs. I don't want to show you the rest of it, but it's quite tall. Um, if I stand next to it, it's basically as tall as me putting this on the ground and it has a ton of shoots coming out. It used to be a lot more, uh, the foliage used to be all over the place, but when we transported it, a lot of it flew off and uh, really just, it was a bad way of transporting it. It was my fault on that. But this way, all the defoliating basically now allowed me to see all these branch structures. So I am gonna be pruning off a lot of it. Uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll give it a little slight pruning today. So I guess I will show you a little bit more of the tree, but I really wanted to highlight this beautiful trunk, beautiful nabari. And when I went to go pick up, I was picking up two other trees and then I saw this one, I, I lost I lost it. I, I was like, oh my God, I went to it. I got down to eye level like I am right now and I was staring at it and it took two minutes before I said something and then my dad did the same thing and my dad really wanted it. So here it is. Oh, big boy. Uh, big guy. lower branch down here doesn't really bother me at the moment I think I'm gonna keep it it's pretty thick but as you can tell there's two main shoots up top here left and right which I want to work with so I'm kind of thinking of removing all of these little ones around it and then just working off uh, what's going on here to so if you step away right there's a lot going on down there so I don't think it would do the tree that much justice if you just taper it off into a little apex with such a tremendous trunk. So what I'm thinking, there's a lot going on there. I think if we can organize the branch structures uh, in, in a sort of flat way so that when it defoliates, you can see a lot going on. Also when it comes into new shoots and all this beautiful greenage, a nice flat top, almost the same size, would probably look pretty nice. Um, it's extremely early to tell. Uh, obviously, it's, it's um, yeah, it's, it's very early to tell. But, you know, one thing that also points out is that the shoots, the main two main shoots are perfectly in line. So what I'm thinking is I can turn them in separate directions, kind of forming a unnatural move, you could say, but also being uh, somewhat organic. Uh, so I would direct the shoots this way, you know, and kind of organize them in a way where eventually it could be a nice flat top. It's a little bit hard to explain at the moment because again, it's, it's very uh, it's very raw material in my, in my hands. I've, ju I've just had it only maybe three days, but I think that is probably what's gonna do the tree justice. I just, I, I wanted to come back into pure, pure growth first because unfortunately, if you look at the tree right now, it looks unhealthy. You know, it looked like it started uh, fall early, but trust me, it was a beautiful tree. It is a beautiful tree. And now, uh, let me get to work. So this is everything I took off, uh, plus two extra shoots that I'm actually propagating in the back. Uh, and now we're just gonna let the tree be. We need it to really just kind of sit there for a little bit. I don't want to rush the design because it has so much potential. So I'm gonna just put it back and we're gonna let it be for a little bit. I have a trip coming up soon, so I don't wanna rush any, any drastic changes on this lovely tree. So maybe when I get back, I'll get some inspiration because uh, I'm checking out a nursery soon enough. <laughs> Well guys, if you stuck around, thank you. This is the beautiful Nabari of my beautiful bald cypress. I hope to introduce you to some more cool designs in the near future. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments or any, any recommendations when it comes to designing this tree, please let me know. I'll catch you on the next one.